Hey everybody, Mono Wisdom here. We are back, part 120 of our Skylander Giants blind playthrough. Uh, basically gave up on getting regular light core chill as my test dummy. Uh, at least here in a reasonable time. I'm sure now since I record it, she'll probably drop this weekend or something. But uh, nonetheless, uh, did have legendary light core chill and regular chill. Two is all we need to take both paths. I uh, elected to take chill down uh, Frozen Fury. If I would have had Light Core Chill, I would have made her do that because I think I'd like Ice Lancer a little better. And uh, then we'd take Legendary down, whichever we wound up preferring. <laughs> but, uh, nonetheless, mentioned this in the last video. I did, uh, a while back, uh, messing around in the hard file, uh, went ahead and upgraded Legendary Light Core Chill. Did her Soul Gem and all the base upgrades. That's kind of how I could, you know speak with knowledge on chill but what we're going to do now is actually pick a path and obviously we're going to take ice lancer we'll check it out and uh, go from there but uh again here she is obviously you recognize it she doesn't have the goofy hat on so you can kind of get a better feel for what the increased armor does but uh she is light core chill so the javelin kind of glows not so much when you throw it that said when you put up the ice wall uh you know does light up through there, but keep in mind, regular chill does that too. There's the bash. Uh, while we're out here, I mentioned I already had her soul gym, and I wanted you to pay attention to chill's uh, narwhal, which is just kind of like a plain, you know, dull gray color. Uh, check this out. Okay, so those do hover too. I just didn't remember it. But watch the narwhal here. It's, solid gold. Uh, that's kind of a cool deal. It's something they didn't have to do, but since the legendary color scheme is blue and gold, uh, it's kind of a nice touch, I thought. So, uh, nonetheless, I guess we'll take a look at her stats here. You kind of get a feel for the light-up effect. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong one. Anyway, since we're here, we'll recap it. Uh, basically, pace attack, ice javelin. Secondary is the ice wall. Uh, first upgrade, the Great Wall. Second one, Glacial Bash. Then we had Imperial Armor. This is huge. It costs 540 with a 20% or, you know, 20 wing sapphire discount. And it adds 40 armor, just like we saw with Flash. I mean, that's insane to have that as a base upgrade. Uh, Cold Front. Uh, again, I don't like what it did to the shield aesthetically, but I like, you know, the. I actually like Chop Chop down that path. I know most people don't, but I kind of think it's unique in the game. Uh, now Chill kind of falls into that category too. What we did with regular Chill, since Light Core wasn't out to be our test dummy, went ahead and took her down this bottom path called Frills and Fury. Uh, begins with Icebreaker. Ice wall blocks explode and struck Pine Ice Javel and your enemy. Uh, better Bash, Glacial Bash hits multiple enemies and ice wall blocks in a larger area. And lastly, on the rocks, exploding ice blocks freeze enemies into ice cubes of their own. Uh, and then of course, Call of the Narwhal is a soul gem. Showcase that to you. We'll sh take a better look at uh, Ice Lancer when we come in there. Looking good. Actually, that's why I came here. Uh, <laughs> her armor is 79 without a hat. Uh, you probably wonder why it's higher than regular chill. That's just kind of one of the attributes I think that the uh, legendaries have. So now we're ready. Uh, just for reference, I think what is it, 4140? Let me pull up that spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, if you're at the point where all you need or all you plan to buy at that point in time is the path, you know, the three upgrades, you'll need 4,140 when you have the max discount. So, got that covered. We'll have a little bit left in the bank. We'll uh, talk to Persephone here. Actually, we won't. You know what she says. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see here, I should be locked into a path, but since I backed out, uh, you know, when I was upgrading her, you still get to pick. So like I said, if you buy her base upgrades, and then it was wanting you to pick a path, and you're freaking out because you wanted to experiment with them, see what you liked, and what you thought needed help or didn't need help, etc., Simply press the B button here, you won't be locked in. Can't stress this enough. Uh, if you've been upgrading your Series 2, you know, and say you did Slam Bam, and uh, 
then you switched paths and you figured you'd just do that with your new lander if you just got chill or legendary light core chill or something uh, can't do that you're locked into one path just like we had in SSA so keep that in mind and I mean take your time uh, try out the base stuff like I said watch videos look it up online just kinda you know do what you have to do but uh, obviously like I said we're gonna take Ice Lancer here with Legendary Light Core Chill which is an awesome path it's honestly if I just had to pick one based on you know what each path offered uh, you know, assuming I just had like one chill, I would probably go Ice Lancer. Not just because it's my name, but I just think it sounds like it would be a little bit more practical and easy to use. Uh, nonetheless, you know, once we play the game, for sure. Without further ado, here we go. Don't ask me why we have to do that cutscene. That's really pointless. I, I hope they do away with that in Swap Force. Anyway, our first upgrade down Ice Lancer is the Burr Blade. New Ice Javelin does increase damage, cost is 1020. We will uh, pick that up. Okay, it is considerably bigger now, and that works out really well with the Light Core. Uh, let's see if we can. I don't want to go on the deck just yet. Why you can't seem to get it at percent anyway? Uh, it is bigger, it glows nicely, uh, glows better than the actual figure. So, uh, upgrade again our second one down Ice Lancer is called Shatter Spear. Javelins now split into separate ice spears when passing through an ice wall. This to me is awesome, and I think it's going to come in very handy. Cost is through. Uh, my nephew has this like little. It's not really little, it's like, lord, the thing's probably like four or five feet tall, but it's this Nerf sword, uh, and it's actually kind of got like this push lock button in the middle that divides them too, that's kind of what I'm picturing here, but, uh, here's our great wall, and now I'm going to throw, okay, well, we can't see it, but we'll play with it, we'll just assume they're dividing in two, and it's really neat, we'll check it out on the deck of the ship a little better here. Our final upgrade for Legendary Light Core Chill is going to be Triple Javelins. Throw three Ice Javelins at once, cost is 1800. Pick that up. Let's see. There you go, that's pretty awesome. It's kind of like Flame Slinger. You can still throw them just as quick. And then the real payoff for me, you get your Great Wall here. It's really hard to let's come out here. I'm assuming we're gonna have six of them, and that's a big deal. Uh, so there we go. Let's try it with one. Oh yeah, that's right. We're throwing three now. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you see us throw three, and then two break on the staircase. Let me try to scoot up. Yeah, I mean that's pretty awesome. The other thing that I really like about this path, it may seem so obvious you don't think about it, I mentioned with the uh, Frozen Fury path, whenever we throw an ice javelin through the wall, it actually blows up. It doesn't just like make ice cubes or shavings that will freeze an enemy. I mean, it takes out, if we threw one, two, three javelins, I mean, it would take out three blocks of ice, and then that kind of kills the defensive capabilities. Say that we were getting raided or something right now, I can set up these ice walls, I mean, wreak havoc on people as it expires or they break through. You know, you can run over here, set up another wall, and just... This to me, I know they didn't intend for this to be the defensive path, uh, since the ice wall was addressed with Frozen Fury, but I truly think this one is actually a little better defense. You can still do the Glacial Bash, you know, it's not near as impressive, uh, but, I mean, we can come over here and you're throwing three ice javelins that turn into six when they send through the wall. Uh, you can see how well the wall holds up, too, and then you can still do the bash. Uh, again, this is without me having played them in the game. I have to say that if I was 
you know, just had one chill or something, uh, or had to recommend, you know, to people, you know, watching and asking on the blog or something, my recommendation for chill is going to be Ice Lancer. You can do the Glacial Bash stuff, again, not with the same duration, but the big draw, you throw three Ice Javelins, they do more damage anyway, and then when you send them through a wall, they divide into, you know, essentially six pieces. And uh, that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> you know, I'm going to let that one dissolve. I'm going to do a straight wall here. Great wall, actually. And uh, there you see, I mean, that's very, very impressive in my opinion. Uh, we got plenty of time here. Just to compare and contrast, again, Legendary Light Core Chill that we just had on is down Ice Lancer. This is our regular chill, you know, from the playthrough, and she is down Frozen Fury, so, uh, note she just throws one Ice Javelin, doesn't do increased damage, uh, doesn't throw three, won't divide into two, we throw it through an Ice Block, but, uh, when we put up a, uh, Ice Wall here, when she throws a Javelin through it, it breaks it. And what I'm getting at is that basically kills off your defense. I know it's supposed to freeze enemies, uh, which that in theory could take care of it, but what I was getting at is I wish when I throw this right now, instead of just decimating that block, I wish it just like took a little off the top, maybe where you could do like three rounds of it, and then you could still use the wall, you know, kind of as a defense mechanism where you could run around in circles and bombard your, you know, enemy or opponent in PvP or something. Uh, you know, but nonetheless, the big draw with Frozen Fury is that you can, you know, do that. It lasts a lot longer. Uh, it's more chaotic. Uh, it's supposed to do more damage to enemies, too. Uh, again, that's something we'll kind of have to explore in the game. But, uh, like I said, I don't think Chill has a bad path. I think you know, kind of like the blog poll indicates, uh, Ice Lancer, you know, if you just had one chill, I think that's what I would begin with, but, uh, you know, both are pretty good. Again, just for comparison, kind of here to do this video, uh, this is regular chill, bear in mind, we're going to show up the narwhal. Pretty cool deal, like I said, her personal quest is like to kill six enemies with one narwhal attack, but now we're going to come back to Legendary Light Core Chill down Ice Lancer. Complete with the Soul Gym, and uh, here's what you're going to see. Pretty cool, I mean, that's something they didn't have to do, you know, while I do gripe about her light up effect and not a fan of the shield or the armor look, etc. You know, one thing I try to do is stay subjective, and when something's cool, I'll point it out. Another thing I just realized here is you're able to actually turn, which means, say that you accidentally start charging it up right here, and you wanted to send it straight down the middle of the ship instead, you can actually adjust. Uh, let's see what happens if we do it. Outwards. Okay, so, kind of pointless, but still you can't do it, you know. Uh, but again, there it is. I feel like with the light core version, since the javelin lights up, this was the way to go. Uh, I'll actually play it, and, uh, you know, I guess we'll let light core chill have the path we prefer better. But what I really like about this path, you know, you can have the one, two, three ice walls, and then you're able to just use the javelins like crazy, and it doesn't destroy them despite, you know, three javelins going through and then dividing into two, which is six. And you can kind of dial it in for defense, and you can still glacial bash. So, like I said, if I had to recommend something right now, it would be Ice Lancer. And again, it's not just because I think the name's awesome. Uh, I do think it's just a little bit more practical particularly because you can actually, you know, use it as more of a defense. Uh, the projectile pass you usually think of, you know, is like offensive, but the thing is, you can run around them, and you can throw the javelins through with no adverse effects to the wall. Uh, 
unlike you know we saw with Frozen Fury. So that said, Frozen Fury, you know, if it really does freeze the enemies, well, that will still be pretty sweet and kind of offset the fact you're kind of like decimating your defense structure. Uh, bear in mind, with Frozen Fury, you could still throw the wall up and then just like run around it or something. But uh, you know, I'd prefer it kind of like we have here with Ice Lancer. But uh, Nonetheless, that is Legendary Light Core Chill. Prior to that, Part 119, we recorded uh, Frozen Fury with Chill. And I uh, have to say, again, this is without me having played any of these upgrades we've done. Jet back on up through Chill now. Uh, I think Chill is very, very impressive. Uh, I was very impressed with uh, Flash Wings upgrades, particularly Super Shards. Uh, granted, like I said, all this may change when I play with them in the game, but I mean, just initial impressions and what I'm expecting. Uh, Super Shard Flash Wing, and the fact she got the plus 40 armor was a big deal. Uh, Ice Lancer Chill, very impressed with that. Uh, Fright Rider. Uh, again, Sir Lancelot's, and that's my name in it, it's kind of cool, but I think Joust Jockey looks like a pretty good path. Uh, Jetvac, I think both of them will be, you know, pretty fun. Uh, those are really the ones that stand out to me. Again, Sprocket, uh, since she had so little, in my opinion, to begin with, I think she upgraded in a very significant fashion, but, I mean, it's not like... When I say I'm excited about Chill and Flashwing, uh, I can say the same about Sprocket, but it's not quite on that same level. Uh, to me, Chill and Flashwing went from like good to really great, whereas Sprocket kind of went from bad to you know good, possibly really good. Again, we'll have to kind of play it out. She could be awesome for all I know, but uh, Hot Dog. I don't know about those paths. I'll really have to play them. Uh, Shroom Boom, that one path. I don't know what they were thinking. How you lose the barrier, you know, when you hit it with a mushroom. Uh, <clears throat> kind of, you know, that makes me, you know, really prefer the first path with him. Uh, let's see, what else is there? We got Jet Vac, Flash Wing. Oh, Pop Fizz. Uh, really happy with his. I think it'll be pretty fun and uh, effective. Uh, we'll do Best of the Beast. I mean, sorry, we'll do Mad Scientist probably with Punch Pop Fizz. It'll depend again when, like, a Light Core Pop Fizz regular version drops. We'll kind of go from there. But, uh, Sprocket, Fright, yeah, that pretty much covers them all. Again, if I had to pick two that really stood out. I think I'd say Chills Ice Lancer and then uh, Flashwing Super Shards. Uh, those would be like my two cream of the crop. I do think Joust Jockey is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, Jet Vac, I honestly think his will be right up there. You know, maybe, maybe not quite as great a path overall, but I think they'll be very solid and enjoyable. Uh, again, Vac Packeteer, I'm kind of interested in that one. Again, bear in mind, like I keep saying, I have not played any of these in the game, so I mean, everything I'm saying could be complete trash, you know, but just based on what I see in Persephone's little love room and then on the deck of the ship here, uh, I'm confident with what I'm saying, so, you know, that said, when you throw enemies into the mix and all the variables of a, you know, level or challenge or something, things can change, as I'm sure you know, but, uh, like I said, I mean, I knew Chill was someone I was going to like when I first played with her, and uh, just basically what you see with Ice Lancer, that's really my play style. I think that's another big deal. Uh, it comes down to how you play the game and, you know, what you're, you know, efficient with and can do effectively and, you know, how you accent everything, but... Uh, Probably the most interesting one to use in game is probably going to be Sprocket, just because I felt like she was completely one dimensional, just had the wrench attack box stock. I mean, the turret was completely pointless, in my opinion. Uh, now, the tank I think will be pretty fun. I don't know if it'll be any good, but it's going to be fun. And I think the mines are really going to help her out. And then, of course, upgrading to the monkey wrench will be a big deal. Uh, 
both pass on Fright Rider. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things we'll just kind of have to play it out. Uh, cool thing is, in Nightmare Mode, that'll really, really be a good test for everybody. Uh, essentially as tough as it can be, so we'll look forward to that. Again, I'm surprised my Wiimotes lasted this long. Uh, if it does die, hopefully it dies when I'm not recording. Hadn't really had any issues since we have a wired portal now. But uh, I'll quit rambling. Again, uh, basically, I think... <sighs> Part 107 to 120 essentially covers our new lander upgrades. Uh, pretty much I've shown you everything except uh, Mad Scientist with Pop Fizz, which I'll obviously show you. We've got Pop Fizz and Light Core Pop coming out. Uh, I'm sorry, Punch Pop Fizz and Light Core Pop Fizz. I do have an extra sprocket. Might take her down gearhead. It'll probably depend how well I like operator when we finally get to play that. But, uh, I mean, chill. We've got both pass. Fright Rider both pass. Uh, we will with Pop Fizz like I just referenced. Shroom Boom got to show you both pass. Uh, Flashwing both pass. Jetpack both pass. So, pretty much the ideal setup, sadly. Uh, <laughs> with the Giants, there's some, I mean, just top of my head. Eventually Scarlet and Genie ought to be here. That'll take care of that. But, you know, I've got the two bouncers, legendary version, uh, two crushers because of Granite Crusher, two Tree Rexes because of the 3DS starter pack. But, uh, the rest of them, I mean, Swarm, he's the one I'm really torn on. Uh, you know, it's going to require me probably to actually use his base upgrades. Uh, Hothead, both pass look good. Uh, Thumpback and Eyebrawl only have one of each. I nearly bought one, uh, another Eyebrawl the other day, but I didn't. Uh, maybe if they like cut them in half the prices, I might pull the trigger on it. But I mean, this stuff gets expensive. I know a lot of people think I have a ton of them. I'm not one of those crazy people. I'm cheap. I mean, I, I've reiterated that from the beginning. Uh, I almost always buy them on sale, you know, in some form or another. Uh, don't pay, I've never paid over retail for anything I have, including, you know, the silvers and the golds. And I don't go out and pay extra for them. You know, I mean, I could go on and uh, pick up gold chop chop for 200 or something. I'm not about to do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, if I want a gold chop chop, I'll buy one for five bucks and rattle can the thing, you know. Uh, other deal, I mean, I know now a lot of people here lately, I've been having to field a ton of questions on, like, all these fake variants and stuff, like Wicked Thumpback, uh, Red One. I mean, people, it's sad what people do. I mean, I try to provide, like, factual, actual information, and then on the flip side, some people, and they'll say they're doing it just for fun or to joke around, but in reality... Uh, the vast majority of these people are doing this stuff to get more traffic to their website, their blog, their videos, their channel, whatever medium they are. Uh, I mean, I could come in and say that there was Ben Stein Brawl or something and make it look like the Clear Eyes logo, you know, and I mean, I could throw it up. It just takes like two or three people to see it and repeat it, and then, you know, the urban legend grows. Uh, you can do some pretty crazy things with filters and photos. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's a real paint job. Well, there's also Photoshop, you know, uh, cell phones. I don't know if people played with the filters on your phone much, but uh, you'd be surprised what you can do. Uh, I mean, we can make, like, African killer swarm, you know, in ten minutes. Uh, I mean, I could pass some stuff off that would look really good, but, you know, it's... That's not what I want to do. I want people to come watch the videos or go to the blog and know that what I put out in front of you is, you know, based on actual information, stuff I've seen firsthand. Uh, any third-party sources I use, I give them credit, and they're all reputable. You know, that's another big deal. Uh, if something's speculative, you know, like me saying Scarlet and Genie should be here, I mean, it's it's the way I see it happening. I know a lot of people freak out and they bought her from Germany and they're, you know, paying out the wazoo and freight. If she doesn't come to America, I'm not paying Amazon's Germany, you know, $22 freight to get something shipped to me by DHL. So, uh, 
But like I said, I mean, it's one of those things you just kind of have to take it with a grain of salt sometimes. But I'll quit rambling here. Obviously, uh, when you see this one, which I'm hoping to get all these edited and uploaded really quick, the Newlander stuff. Uh, but what I was trying to get into is that uh, the Giants, they've all got the money. I took care of that tonight before we recorded Chill. Uh, a couple of them were just like 60 coins off, like I said. Uh, everyone I have, the Giants, are all ready to upgrade. Issue is, with some of them, I'd really like to have some time to play with their base upgrades to see what I want to do just because... What I was getting at and all that is I may not go out and buy a second swarm or buy a second bump back and eyebrow, uh, etc. So, uh, you know, I, I want to take the best path, you know, that I can in case that happens or I don't go spend the money to do both, you know. So, uh, we'll see what happens, but, you know, I may do a deal where this next video, 121, uh, might be like the base upgrades on every giant uh, that would only be the base ones wouldn't do it on legendary granite crusher you know etc we'd basically save those for standalone videos but uh, that may be what I do actually and then we just kinda recap that and take the upgrade path uh, so that actually sounds like a pretty good idea it's 3.23 in the morning but you know sometimes I impress myself so uh, nonetheless, I'm going to quit rambling. Uh, you probably could have quit watching this like nine minutes ago, but uh, we'll pretend that's a non-issue for you. Uh, again, as always, thanks for watching, especially if you stuck it out through all that rambling. Uh, questions, comments, you can ask on YouTube. However, and I can't stress this enough, if you ask on the blog, I hit the blog pretty much every night short of a crazy storm or something ridiculous in my life happening. Uh, bottom line is I get to that extremely fast. Uh, pretty much same deal, Twitter, Facebook, Google+. Plus. Uh, Facebook's hit and miss on their notifications, but that's another story. Uh, again, the blog, I've currently got the upgrade path pulls for the new landers and giants. I'll probably extend that uh, just until I've got like all of them edited and uploaded. That'll give people more time to vote. Similarly, New Landers versus Castaways round two. Uh, Going to be cycling through every New Lander versus every Castaway. I think that'll be pretty fun. So, if you haven't voted in those polls, check them out. They're on the blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. Right hand side, just below the Twitter feed. Again, thanks for watching, and we will catch you back for part 121.